An Oklahoma native is taking her animal training skills to Hollywood and beyond. Fox 25's Mike Brooks takes us inside her world and has got your back with how you can get a handle on your own animals. Very nice. He was a good boy. Terry Bowen Lindley has the best job in the world. She travels the country training exotic animals and their owners. It's just some lack of experience, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding what they're doing. So we're the ones screwing it up. Absolutely. There are no problem animals on the planet. This Oklahoma native started training horses professionally back in 1979. Now, 40 years later, she's setting her own hours working with camels, zebras, bison, reindeer, exotic camel, even llamas. Llamas are like Fifi, you know, for me. You know, they really, they're so easy, but they're cute. And a package even more so. Even though she's been training animals for most of her life, she's still learning. Almost every week I'm going to run across some critter that's got some trick up its sleeve that I've never come across, you know, and so I got to start making up things, you know, let's try this and see what happens. You know? And enjoying every minute. One of her favorite experiences, training Herbie the hybrid. He's seven and a half feet and he's still just not even four years old yet. To go inside a fancy Los Angeles hotel. And they were going to do a nativity on the same stage that they do the Golden Globes on. So it was in the Beverly Hilton. Fancy schmancy place, okay? Terry had to get creative in order to get a seven and a half foot camel to go through a six and a half foot door. So I taught him to walk on his knees. So she, she's still not real confident, not real comfortable yet. It's now Terry's working with Tanya Ferrison, who started out with some goats for her grandkids. Then she took a leap of faith. And then I escalated to many cows and got a camel in the package and llamas. <laughs> Terry's like teaching like. Tanya on how to handle the llamas and Humphrey the camel. And she's got your back with some do's and don'ts when it comes to training. First, before investing in any animal, do your research. Go meet this species of animals with somebody that owns them. Go meet them. Check out the facility, especially the fencing, and make sure that your yard or your home is ready for the new addition. Is your fencing strong enough? Is your shed tall enough? Second, she says, don't rely on positive reinforcement alone. Only highly skilled trainers can use it, and it takes a lot of time. I mean, it doesn't mean I punish. It means I create a little bit of pressure in order to, re to, to ask for a change. When I get that change, they get that immediate release. Third, animals are very aware of nonverbal cues, so watch your positioning, your stance, and how tightly you're holding the rope. And I see relax those fingers, and I do that. It automatically changes your heart rate, automatically changes their body and their breathing. Terry says your energy and your intentions come from your sternum. So when you face an animal head on, it should yield. So when you're turning your whole sternum like that to look at her and trying to keep her coming forward, it's going to discourage that forward. Instead, keep your sternum pointed in the direction you want to go and the animal will follow. As soon as you feel her start to move, there you go, and just relax your fingers, good. Fourth, don't be intimidated and don't allow animals to enter your personal space or move your feet. And they become very pushy and rude, get a little bit sense of entitlement. If you do, she says the animal will start to treat you like another animal in their herd, which can be a huge problem. Then you got this camel that potentially can be very dangerous because this is still a baby. You know, he's going to get way bigger, way stronger, and way smarter. Derry says it happened to her. A camel pushed her down, then laid on top. And he broke three of my ribs. And thank God the owner was standing nearby. He's six foot four, four fifty, and was able to get him off of me. Fifth, never get a zebra, no matter how cute you think they are. They're never to be trusted. You know, they're neat animals. They are trainable in the right circumstances with the right people, but they are not a good. Head. And finally, never, ever, ever call Terry a horse whisperer. And do you have a special ability to, ask. No. to talk with the animals? No, there's no such thing as a whisperer. It, it's, it's just lots and lots and thousands and thousands of animals and years and years and years of practice. Here you heard it, never get a zebra. There goes that dream. Well, that was Mike Brooks reporting. You can find more information on Terry and animal training on our website, okcfox.com.